How's it going guys, it's Jerry Dave here and it's time for episode number 2 of my JJ Baxter Road to the Show. Last we left off, I just uh, created the player, went through the milestones, so I uh, played the season and uh, basically went up to June, uh, made some nice progress, started off slow with him uh, in double A, basically was batting 200 for the first two weeks and then uh, suddenly went on a huge hitting streak, I think like 20 something games and uh, with that we were able to boost our average up to like 400 but there you can see we end up uh, going back to third on a harmless play as it looks like but uh, later on somehow uh, JG Baxter ends up getting hurt it looks like he hurt his leg because he uh, can't stand up going back to uh, first but it ends up being a finger contusion so he's gonna he, I uh, decided you know we would just play him through the injury uh, but with that we get relegated to the bench so uh, we wouldn't get as much playing time as we had hoped uh, but our batting average begin to climb up to, I think we topped out at 400. Here's a nice uh, hit by J.J. Baxter going opposite field. Uh, it has been decreasing slowly uh, back down to around 350, but we have been uh, hovering around there. Uh, here, base is loaded, uh, two for three, two singles, and J.J. Baxter ends up sending one to right field. A dive by the right fielder, but he goes right past him. And uh, that's going to be a bases clearing triple for JJ Baxter, first triple of his career. And I kind of want JJ Baxter to be a 50-50 guy. I have increased his speed. It started off like around 40, and now I've got it up to like uh, 55 or or something like that. Uh, his powers are and contact still around 40. I just want his speed to get up there, so uh, we can make a uh, trouble on the base pass and. Uh, maybe even go for like the stolen base. We kind of want to be like a Mike Trout, a 5 2 player basically in field, contact, power, uh, speed, everything. Uh, we want JJ Baxter to be. Mike, Mike Trout's kind of like the uh, optimal player uh, because he can hit for contact and power as well. But there you go, another home run for JJ Baxter. And uh, that was his second of the season later on. And, and so far, all of them have been away. We're away in Portland here, eight, top of the eighth. Two men on. He ends up sending one to opposite field, and the right fielder's not going to get that one because that one's in the seats. And uh, with that, JJ Baxter gets his third home run of the season. And I think we actually ended up losing this game seven-six, which was odd. There's actually I've noticed that quite a bit in uh, MLB 13, the show recently. You could you could have a four-for-four four game with like. Two, ho two or three home runs like I did with my Cameron Sanchez series and I mean one could be like a grand slam you could be up like 7 nothing, everything's looking good and then suddenly lose the game like 10-9 it's, it's really weird but it kind of adds uh, to some surprise and uh, here's the last uh, clip I'm showing you fourth home run of his season once again on the road so we still can uh, get that home run at home that uh, all the fans are waiting for in uh, Binghamton we have the uh, Blackhawks goal horn as our uh, home run uh, song kind of like where uh, the Jays have that horn thing uh, when they win a game and also hit a home run so just want to incorporate that and see how it looks but uh, so far we haven't yet to experience that but once it does happen I'll let you guys know so anyways towards the end of the month of uh, June we are batting 358 with 137 at bat so definitely not as much as we had hoped for because of sitting on the bench uh, 49 hits 4 home runs 29 RBIs and 5 uh, 11 slugging percentage uh, 29 RBIs does lead the team home runs I don't think we're even close to leading the team but um, 29 RBIs does lead the team on a team that we've probably played half the games for so solid performance by JJ Baxter uh, let me know if you guys want uh, more clips in terms of like highlights that kind of stuff because I do have a lot of like stolen bases uh, uh, singles that kind of stuff as well let's say RBI like two RBI singles, that kind of stuff. If you wanted want me to throw them in there and uh, add more towards the gameplay, I kind of want to just talk about what's going on with his career. And uh, towards this series, it'll be a little bit more relaxing compared to a Miko Pedersen or Let's Play Hut where I'm basically commentating what's going on exactly. This is kind of, I'll mention it, but I also want to talk about his how his career is progressing. So in the next episode, we'll probably go up to the uh, All-Star break where... Right now, J.J. Baxter's leading in the All-Star votes. We'll see if he can make a double-A All-Star or get called up to triple-A by then. And also see if he can make the Futures game for Team USA. So with that, that's the end of episode number two. A little bit on the short side, but I promise they will get a little bit longer if you want them to. 
Just let me know in the comments down below. If you did like this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit that like button. It does help me uh, quite a bit. And with that, I will see you guys later. Peace.